Hi everybody, here we are with the back nine playthrough for the opening round Pro Division North Shore Tournament. Once again, this is my first look account. These shots will be tweaked uh, and adjusted as the day goes on. If you want to get the ultimate text guides, check out the link in the video description down below. Here we go, hole number 10. Uh, cross wind with a little bit of tailwind as well. So once again, I'm going to go left side. Four and a half top spin, and we're going to go with some side spin to the right as well. Bouncing over on the left hand side again. Adjustment max plus 10. Bear in mind we are using the extra mile. If you're using a different, more accurate driver, then um, check the position of your second bounce once you've added spin. Obviously, uh, great ball to the right will, of course, risk the rough due to the shape and the design of the fairway and the accuracy of the extra mile. So do bear that in mind. Shots here, we are aiming for perfect ball, which we do get a perfect ball there. So we bounce very nicely and uh, rolls just down to the right hand side of the fairway. But as you can see, great balls will risk the rough on the right. Second shot, playing with the Grizzly, and I'm going to go with half a bar of top spin, which we're going to add now. You can use yardages here as a reference if you want, or you can try and get some plus yardage checks elsewhere. But half a bar of top spin, and we've got to offset this one, so I'm just offsetting to the left of the cup. So ball guide just missing on the left and going past the hole. Mid distance, 10% elevation. Mid distance, 10% elevation. Straight pull. And then off we go with, hopefully, a perfect ball. There we go, perfect away, good chance. And we have the nice camera angle and drops for a very nice eagle on hole number 10. Hole number 11, very kind wind once again for Pro Division here on this hole. Cross tail wind, so once again, going with the same setup as on the front nine, playing with the rock. And we're going white ring touching the rough on the left. Three and a half top spin. And as we have wind left to right, this time I'm adding half a bar left spin. So one and a half bars side spin to the left. Adjustment again, same as before, max plus 15. So max plus 15. Rock level seven plus is fine here. If you don't have rock level 7, obviously you're going to have to go with a driver with more top spin than the rock level 6. But we hit perfect and we get a very nice roll down the fairway. Uh, once again, narrow fairway. I would think a minor great right is fine, but I've only tested it with perfect. Second shot here, once again going with a sniper, very, very similar to before. Two bars of top spin. And then we're just going to line up ball guide going to the hole. Second bounce in the rough, of course. So two top spin. And here I'm going just over mid distance. Needed a little bit more then. I think here I went uh, one to one plus 0 0.1, but just needed a little bit extra. Just have a look here. Uh, we're at the plus three yard mark, so there's a good reference for you. I'm adjusting, yeah, about 5.5, 5.6, just needs a smidgen more. Uh, so rather than mid plus 10, which I'm basing that on, mid plus 10 plus 0 0.2, um, you might want to add a couple more or maybe just go 15% elevation on that one. But just needed a smidge more, but a very, very good speed on hole 11. Uh, hole number 12 going with a rough bump here. Um, because I think the headwind angle suits it better than the bounce over. Um, what I'm doing here is a three right spin with the katana, 2.1 backspin. However, this one does come in short. Adjustment mid plus 15. Once again, yellow ring touching the rough line and the bunker. Mid plus 15. But we just need to tweak the backspin on this one. It does come in a little bit on the short side. Perfect ball, obviously. We do want to hit perfect when we're playing this shot, but just a little bit lacking in pace. So a little bit less backspin, a very good chance of dropping that one. Hole 13, cross tailwind. Uh, going with the Thor's hammer here for the accuracy. Obviously, extra mile is fine as well. 
stretch out, visualise uh, the bounce between those two bunkers there, centre of the rough. Adjust max plus 10. Uh, here I'm going 3.8 topspin. We do have quite a strong wind in pro with the uh, Berserker here, 8.5. Uh, obviously, if you've got a slightly lower wind, you might want to go with a smidge more topspin. But this one does uh, come in with plenty of topspin anyway, so might be one of those. If you want to try it a couple of times in practice mode, then you can do. So 3.8 top, 2 left spin, a little bit of curl to the left. Hit perfect. I would think with the Thor's hammer we might be okay with a minor great left or right. Come in a little bit hot though, so maybe reduce the top spin a little bit on that one, but still a very, very makeable wedge. Tricky wind here on 14, so um, showing you one with the extra mile in case you don't have the apocalypse. Obviously the apoc will make it easier with the curl, but if not you can still do this with the extra mile level 7+. plus. Uh, 5.8 or 6 top spin, obviously extra mile 7 will only have 4.5. So extra mile 8 is recommended. Uh, adjust max plus 10 and go with the extra mile level 8. This is full curl to the left. If you have more headwind angle, you will adjust into overpower, in which case add some overpower as well. Great right will most certainly be trouble here. So great left has been fine. Perfect, obviously, is fine as well. Second shot can't really attack the albatross, so I'm just going to bounce over here and take an eagle. Two bars backspin, three bars side spin to the right. Even though we are not at max distance of club, I'm adjusting max plus 10. So max plus 10 here, and we're also going to need some curl. So half a ball of curl to the right, I do adjust into overpower, so I add that on to my shot. Minor great ball to the right, still going to be absolutely fine. Obviously, if you don't have cataclysm, Go with a big dog, anything that's around the 177 to 180 yard uh, distance on your wood club is fine. And we roll back down the slope of the green, takes us nicely to the cup for an easy putt for an eagle. Rough bump time on hole 15, going with a navigator. Uh, here, high wind, I would suggest going with a kingmaker, otherwise uh, if you do get wind in the 6, 6.5, 7 range with the navi, it's probably going to push you a bit too high. So um, just under two, uh, three bars of backspin, one bar side spin to the right. And we want the ball guide to be short of pin. Here we have it about a square below the pin. I would uh, suggest really uh, a smidge more backspin. Leave that ball guide a little bit lower on the green. Adjust mid plus 20. Mid plus 20, however, I would really suggest in high wind you switch to a kingmaker if you can because this little bounce here with a strong wind in the navi is going to be a little bit high as you can see here so kingmaker might be preferred there but mid plus 20 is the adjust hole number 16 aim in the middle of the island here with the katana and the extra mile six plus and we're going four and a half top spin three bars side spin to the left adjust max plus 10 power two numbers and we're going with half a ball of curl to the left, hitting perfect. And we bounce very nicely and we can use some yardage notes here. So remember, write down the distance of your drive. If you need help with the slider or yardage notes, check out the Academy tutorial playlist on the channel homepage. Second shot, three bars backspin, one bar side spin to the right. And with a drive of 357 yards, we are going to play this shot 40% slider plus 10% elevation. For every yard nearer the hole, then you need to reduce 2% slider. For every yard further away, add 2% on. Like I say, more details on that on the Academy playlist. Check out the channel homepage. Hit perfect. And Thorn level 8, 9, ball guide just going to the cup. Obviously, Thorn level 7 will have the shorter ball guide. But we drop that very nice for an eagle. Hole number 17. We do have a hole in one here, however... Uh, this is a tricky um, hole in terms of the wind push and also the uh, wind angle changes. So uh, might be difficult to get some consistency. If you drop it, it is a bonus. Two and a couple of clicks of backspin. So 2.2, 2.3, going with one bar side spin to the left. Red ring touching the bunker. Adjustment here, max plus 35. Max plus 35. Once again, you can go with the Kingmaker if you want to cut down uh, in higher winds with the Navigator entirely up to you. 
But we hit perfect here, like I said, a stronger wind is going to give us more wind push and if you have more crosswind angle, that's going to affect the shot as well. We do drop this one nicely for a hole in one, but it is a difficult hole and we just creep in on the right edge. But still, I'm going to take that one all day and every day. Finally, on to hole uh, 18, we've got um, crosswind against us here, but we're still going to be okay with the rock because of the curl. So, Kingmaker is needed though because of the side spin. So, four bars top spin, three bars side spin to the right. Uh, my reference here is the half of the blue ring touching the rough. Mid plus ten, with the rock level eight, it is equivalent to one on one. Don't worry about adjusting into the bunker, we're still going to be fine. Curl here, look at the gap between the ball edge and the triangle. That's what I'm going to reference here. Hit perfect. And then we want to roll here. Bouncing nicely, rolling on the fairway. Great right, minor one is better than the great left, but still going to be okay. Around 350 is fine. Second shot. I'm backing up a little bit from max distance because we do have a hint of headwind. One bar of top spin, and then here I'm going to play true distance plus 10% elevation. So true club distance plus 10. So as we are two yards away from max, taking away 2.5% slider per yard. So this one is played 95% slider. Or, if you want to think about it another way, max plus 10 minus 0 0.1. Pulling there the required number of rings, and we want to try and hit perfect, which we do get in. Good chance here, leave the ball guide slightly short because this ball will roll a little bit more than is indicated. Camera stays very nicely zoomed out here, and we sneak that in left edge, but it still counts as a very nice albatross. Good luck, everyone. Bye for now.